Hey guys, I'm Dan and welcome to a brand new video and today I'm actually doing very different videos for you guys to see so basically I'm gonna show you this new carpet or rather a new shelf of dinosaur toys okay so basically I made this carpet like very recently and um, as you guys can see this top portion over here is very very empty we still need to put in a few wooden planks over here to put in more dinosaur toys. Um, this portion here is just temporary. I'm just putting some new toys over here. As you guys can see, a slight dragon. And this section over here, it's dedicated just for Indominus Rex toys. Um, those smaller ones, those two huge ones that I have, you know, they can't fit into um, this cupboard over here. So, and the rest are all different dinosaur models from different brands. I've actually categorized them accordingly to their brands, okay? So let's get started, okay? So let me have a seat first. So this section over here, it's the Schleich section. Very cool. So the first one over here is the Giganotosaurus. And what is this? And this is the Conotaurus. And behind the Carnotaurus is actually the Herrerasaurus, okay? And let's move on. And we have some little items, some little small stuff from the Advent Calendar. Some, you know, a T-Rex skull. And uh, we have a T-Rex over here. This one, you know, is very cool. Take a look at this T-Rex. Really lovely texture, okay? The posture, you know, the accuracy is pretty good. And the next one. This red one over here is a Velociraptor and uh, we have a Spinosaurus behind so that looks pretty cool as well and um, this one over here is a Dilophosaurus okay so that's all for the first row okay so let's move on to the second row okay the second row we have mostly herbivorous dinosaurs okay so the first one over here this is actually not from um, Schleich, this is actually from uh, Mojo, but this guy is actually very tall, okay, he's almost as tall as the Therizinosaurus, so I just put it right over here, okay, and this one of course is the famous Therizinosaurus, this is actually one of my favorite dinosaur models, okay, it's really cool, I love the colors. And the next one over here, this one is actually from um, the Advent Calendar as well. It's a blue Comsonators. And um, this one over here, the green one over here, is actually a smaller Therizinosaurus. Okay, it looks very nice as well. Let's move on. It's actually very sore for my hand to keep holding the camera this way, okay? So this one over here, it's a um, Triceratops. Very cool. It's actually a smaller version, and we have a bigger version at the back. Let's have a closer look at this. The texture and the details on this is really incredible. Triceratops is also known as the three horn face, okay? And what do we have here? We have some flying reptiles over here. This one over here is a Quetzalcoatlus, it's not a Pteranodon. And this one over here is known as the Enhanguera. Okay, so both of these are prehistoric flying reptiles. Super cool. Um, next, let's move on to this one over here. As you guys can see, um, this is a Stegosaurus with those really, really nice plates. A Stegosaurus is also known as a roof lizard, okay? Next, what do we have here? Is this a Triceratops? No, this is not. This is actually a Styracosaurus. As you guys can see, there's only one horn as compared to the Triceratops, which has three horns, okay? So at the back, we also have this huge, huge dinosaur at the back for super long neck, okay? So this is a Brachiosaurus, okay? Many people, many kids will mistake um, Brachiosaurus from are for an Apatosaurus. Just to have a look at this, you know, the Brachiosaurus has this little hump at the top of his head, so that's very obvious. Okay, and the Brachiosaurus is known as the arm lizard. That is because those two legs in front, as you guys can see, they are much longer than the hind legs. Okay, so 
They're known. It is known as the arm lizard. Let's move on to the next row, shall we? The next row is dedicated to Pepple models. So the first one over here is an Ineosaurus. Okay, this one over here, Ineosaurus. Let's have a closer look, okay? And next one, we have the Swift Caesar, the Velociraptor. Which one do you think is a better one? Is the Pepple one a nicer one or the... Um, like okay let me know in the commands this is just this is the schleich version and this is the papo version okay so the papo version is actually modded um after the jurassic park you know velociraptors they they are super cool okay and we have a um pteranodon resting on top of the Ineosaurus and the velociraptor very very cool um Pteranodon. Take a look at those chest muscles. They look like human chest muscles, okay? And next we have a um, Baryonyx at the back. Okay, this is a pretty cool model. It's actually very, very um, large as compared to the rest. And um, the texturing and um, the posture, posture and um, I would say the art direction and um, it's very different to other Pepo models, okay? This one over here, it's not from Pepo. This is actually from um, Australian Age of Dinosaur Museum. Super cool. It's an Australovenator. Super nice. Okay, take a look at this. This is my only, one and only Austro, Australovenator model, okay? Beg your pardon. And what do we have at the back? We have an um, Allosaurus. This one over here is an Allosaurus. Super nice as well. Very detailed. As I have mentioned before in the past, this one looks super realistic. It looks like a real reptile. Okay. And uh, we also have a um, Dilophosaurus at the back. You know. And this one over here is an Oviraptor. As you guys can see, he's holding on. It, it is holding on to an egg because it's actually known as a um, it's very famous for stealing eggs okay from other dinosaurs next let's have a look at this I can't remember the name of this reptile over here so if you guys know just let me know in the commands and of course we have the beautiful T-Rex from um, Peppo you know with an articulated jaw very nicely done take a look at that okay super nice and this one is actually a bootleg version of a um, Pepo Dimetrodon Dimetrodon is not really a dinosaur it's more of a prehistoric animal okay so let's move on to the next row shall we and the next row is dedicated to Tarot by Batet um, toys and models um, just let give me one second I'm gonna sit on the floor as this shelf is pretty low I mean this section is pretty low so what do we have here what is this I don't think this is an ankylosaurus I can't really remember so let's have a cl closer look so euplocephalus okay euplocephalus and it looks very similar to an ankylosaurus and next we have um, the Acrocanthosaurus over here, very nice. Of course we have the Tyrant Lizard King behind, T-Rex, can't really see, it's pretty dark in here. And next we have an Ineosaurus over here, very nice. And at the back we have two carnivorous dinosaurs staring right at us. This one over here, it's a Carnotaurus. And this one behind, um, let me see, it's actually a Ceratosaurus, you can't really see, it's very dark in here. And next, we shall move on to this one over here, it's a Cryolophosaurus. And um, this one over here is actually a um, Safari Limited uh, model, it's a Ceratosaurus. Let's move on. And of course we have um, the dark-built dinosaur. Parasaurus loafers, 
and um, we have a Stegosaurus here from Terra by Botet. This one is very interesting. Um, it actually has eight spikes. So if you go Google Stegosaurus with eight spikes, you will understand why um, the artist actually created Stegosaurus with eight spikes. Cause there were some findings that you know, some arguments and stuff saying that the you know, Stegosaurus actually um, had eight spikes. So I'm not too sure. The next one we have over here, it's um, a Cantrosaurus, I think. Let's have a look at what is written on its body. I can't really see it here, but this one should be a Cantrosaurus, or maybe it could be a Lexovisaurus, I'm not too sure, but it should be a Cantrosaurus, okay. So we have finished the Terror by Batet roll, okay, and let's move on to the next roll. The next role we have is actually um, um, Mojo, okay? So, yeah, it's this one over here. Um, it's a Ankylosaurus, I suppose. Yes, Ankylosaurus. Of course, we have the Stegosaurus, roof lizard at the back. Parasaurus loafers, Triceratops. This one over here is a T Rex. There are a couple of T-Rex from um, Mojo. There's a bigger one over here, a huge one over here. Very nicely done. But the arms are a little bit too long. And of course, we have a medium-sized um, T-Rex over here, which is green in color. So it looks pretty cool as well. So next, let's have a look at this one over here. This is actually a Velociraptor. It looks a little bit weird to my liking. <laughs> okay. And um, we have a... Um, Spinosaurus at the back, okay, hidden behind, very dark, okay? This is not entirely the best way to display your dinosaur toys, you know, the best way would be to put them in, you know, glass display with like diorama backgrounds and stuff that would look super cool. But this is like just a temporary setup for me, and um, my, my, you know, my place is actually pretty small. So let's move on to the next row. The next row we have over here is actually um, the Collecte row, okay? This is like super, super short, okay? Take a look at this, you know, it's, it um, seems like I'm actually abusing the dinosaurs. As you can see, there's not much room for them to move about. So um, let's have a look at this one. So the, this one, the first one over here is actually an Allosaurus. Definitely not the best Allosaurus model out there because this one, you know, in terms of details, it, um, it's not that fantastic, okay? And um, we have a Metriocantosaurus over here. Yes, Metriocantosaurus. And um, we have a Spinosaurus over here, walking on four legs. And um, we have a Fatted T Rex. This one is actually very cool, okay? But, you know, it's kind of difficult for me to. Get it out just to show you guys and we have a plesiosaurus and this one is actually a bootleg version of um i think pepo i'm not too sure and we have a despletosaurus over here very nice i love the tribal stripes and the stripes on his body is super cool really fantastic model and um we have a mapusaurus mapusaurus or mapusaurus i'm not too sure no, you know Depends on how you pronounce it. And um Acrocanosaurus and Kakarodontosaurus, okay. So two two awesome carnivorous dinosaurs. We have this over here. Looks like a Cantrosaurus, but it's actually written as a um, Lexovisaurus. We have a Polacanthus over here. Polacanthus. Yeah, can you see that? Yeah, Polacanthus. And we have a um, bootleg Ankylosaurus over here. You know, I've actually a couple of bootleg models, okay? The next row is actually a prehistoric animals row, okay? So let's have a look at this one. So we have a Deodon, a Maropus, Andrusacus over here. Very nicely detailed. And this one over here is like an elephant. It's like um, it's known as NB 
and Miberloden, okay, and Miberloden. And of course, we have this Arsinoriftyrim. It looks like a rhino, but it's actually closely related to elephants, okay? Just give me one second. And the next one we have over here is definitely the saber tooth cat, or rather known as the Smolodon. Very pretty model. Very, very nicely done. This is actually one of my favorite models, okay? So nicely detailed, you know. But I think those two front task or rather um, what do you call that canine teeth should be slightly longer I feel and of course we have this over here what's the name of this um, giant sloth yes giant sloth okay at the back there's actually one huge apatosaurus okay it's actually a bullet model and um, we have a few other what is this known as you know, I have a, I'm very forgetful, and this one over here, it's known as, um, oh yes, Megaserops, yes, Megaserops, and what about this guy over here, this guy over here is known as the Paraceratherium, yes, this weird looking guy, and of course we have this huge, huge elephant looking, um, prehistoric animal, it's known as the Dane of the Rim, very nicely done, you know, this is from Collecte, it's a super heavy model, I think this is the heaviest model, you know, among all the, all the dinosaur models over here. So we also have a Dodi Curious over here, which is believed to be closely related to the Armadillo. Okay, I'm gonna put the Giant Sloth back, okay. So basically, these are all the prehistoric animals and dinosaurs. Okay, so we have the prehistoric animals, we have the Collecte, we have the Mojo, we have the Terrabobotet, we have the Pepo section, we have the Schleich, you know, two rows of Schleich dinosaurs. And next, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna stand up right now, so bear with me for one few seconds. So this is a section, this is actually a temporary section that I've created for our Indominus Rex toys. So we have the hybrid version over here, the hybrid armor Indominus Rex. I'm sure you guys have watched my prehistoric, um, sorry not prehistoric, my Indominus Rex collection video yesterday. Yeah, and this one over here, it's a similar, you know, it's a similar sculpt. Just that this one is known as the... the and Dominus Rex with chomping action. So basically, they use the same toy to create two different versions. Okay, so that is very smart of Hasbro. So this one over here is actually from Schleck as well. It's actually from the Advent Calendar. It's a skeleton of a Stegosaurus, and we have this really awesome set from um, Universal Studios. Um, a tree figure playset. Of course, we have the Velociraptor. Um, Indominus Rex and T-Rex Nicely done and um, the back of the box actually opens up into a diorama so that is pretty cool And this one this row over here. It's also Indominus Rex, okay? So this one over here. It's um the Indominus Rex is from the Indominus Rex versus the gyro spear set And of course we have some bootleg um, Lego dinos the one behind is the bootleg version and this one over here is the original Lego uh, figurine and this one over here. It's super cool. This is my one and only um, Jurassic World mini figurine from um, From a 15 pack okay from Hasbro as well. So yeah So the top <laughs> top portion over here is still not ready to work in progress I'm gonna fill um, this section with other dinosaur toys probably not too sure maybe for the 2017 models yeah, so as you guys can see, this is the floor, the last row is the prehistoric animals. So what do you guys think? You know, I can actually close this like this. So lock for me to, to lock it. So that's pretty cool. So that's all for today's video. You know, I hope you guys enjoy um, you know, a different video because I want to create different content for you guys. And let me know in the comments whether you enjoy, you know, such um, a video where I show you my collection right from the shell. Okay, I feel this is pretty 
you know genuine and personal so let me know whether you guys enjoy this video and if you do you know just give it a thumbs up you know share it leave me a comment you guys know i read every single one of them and um and i'll see you tomorrow in the next video but before that do check out these four videos over here okay so this is gonna be i'm gonna leave it to play for like 20 seconds okay so do check out these four videos which i have recommended for you guys okay you you might enjoy it you know so yeah so do let me know what other videos you want me to watch or you want me to make and i'll be happy to do so so that's all i'll see you guys tomorrow okay goodbye